All right, so now we can get started. Um, thank you all for participating in the employer spotlight. Um, we have Northwestern Mutual and we'll just let them start by introducing themselves in their current role. Yeah, so hello, my name is Emily Fritz. Um, I'm the Director of Internship Recruitment and Development. So I recruit students for our internship program um, here in our Knoxville office. And then I also help coach and develop them once they're here. Um, I'm also the contracting and licensing coordinator. So I really help um, onboard new interns and also financial representatives. So I just kind of provide them with what they need to help them get off to a fast start. So I've been at Northwestern Mutual for almost seven years. Um, I'm also from Knoxville and I'm a UT alum. So I graduated in 2010 with a degree in business and marketing. So we're just excited to be here. Awesome, glad to have you here, Emily. Yeah, Emily is awesome. She makes it all uh, run in the office. Uh, my name is Mark Pankratz. Uh, I'm the managing director, uh, one of the managing directors uh, for our office here with Northwestern Mutual, uh, also a financial advisor. Um, I am a uh, alumni of uh, UT uh, in two different ways. I graduated there with a master's, but then also uh, I coached basketball there with um, Coach Pearl and his staff. And then also with Conzo Martin for a couple seasons uh, before getting out of the, uh, the coaching world about seven and a half years ago and um, falling back to my finance background, which I was a major uh, in college uh, while playing for Coach Pearl up in Milwaukee. And so I've been with Northwestern uh, for about seven and a half years. And um, I love the, uh, the coaching aspect of what we get to do with students and introducing them to uh, a career that really has uh, changed my life um, from where I was when I was coaching to what I get to do uh, on a daily basis today. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mark. Um, and our next question is actually for you. Um, if you could just tell us a little bit about um, Northwestern Mutual, what the company does, which you kind of already spoke to a little bit, um, and where your primary locations are, are at. Yeah, so uh, Northwestern Mutual is all over the, the country. I mean, we're, we're uh, arguably the number one financial planning firm uh, in the country. Um, I love to talk with people about uh, being a financial coach, creating financial game plans for people. I use a lot of those sports analogies, uh, but helping people achieve the things that are most important to them, whether that's around uh, certain goals as far away as retirement, it's college planning for their kids, it's paying down debt, um, it's building a business. Um, it's protecting their family with the right of amount of uh, life insurance. Um, and then uh, the planning side of it is what I really uh, enjoy. But that is location wise, we're located here in Knoxville. Uh, but as I mentioned, um, we're all over the United States. Um, our primary uh, location being in West Knoxville. But, uh, you know, we've got people in our office that uh, you know, I grew up in the Chicagoland area, uh, some that grew up in Florida, others that uh, came back here from the Atlanta area. So people from all over, but uh, we're here located in, in West Knoxville. Awesome. Um, and our next question is for Emily. Uh, so what kind of jobs and internship opportunities do you currently have? Yeah, so we are actually currently recruiting for our winter 2020 and then our spring 2021 internship program, and that's as a financial representative. Um, and that role is a lot like what Mark gets to do every day. So we treat our interns a lot like they are full time. So they kind of get that real world hands on experience to really see if this could be a good career fit for them. Um, we're really excited about that winter program just because we've never done one before, but we're kind of taking advantage of the fact that students aren't really returning back to school after Thanksgiving. And so we wanna use that time to kind of launch that internship program for students who are interested in that. Um, and they also can continue that internship program as well into the spring if they really like it and they think it's a good fit for them. Um, and then we're also always recruiting graduating seniors um, and alumni for that full-time financial representative, representative position. So we're looking for both of those um, right now. And yeah. So and I, so I could if I could speak on that real quick, just uh, for the winter program, I think it's, you know, we're coming off of a summer and a fall program uh, with Emily's uh, leadership and Cullen, um, you know, we're, our internship just here in the Knoxville office, um, we're one of the top 10 uh, intern programs uh, offices in the entire country. And 
that has a lot to do with the hand-on experience that that our interns are getting. They're not just you know getting coffee for somebody or filling out spreadsheets or staring at morning stars or Y charts. I mean, they're actually starting to get real hands-on experience. And not only with a firm like Northwestern, one of the top financial planning firms in the country, but within that, you know, our firm has done a really good job of teaching and developing their interns to transition into a really successful career um, uh, once they graduate school. So, um, you know, it's, it's not just an internship. There is a, a lot of, Emily goes through a lot of different resumes uh, and we pick uh, some of the best of the best. And so we're looking for those, those people. Well, that sounds like a great internship program and maximizing uh, the winter semester here. Um, so if you could talk a little bit about how to apply for um, the positions that you all have available. Yeah, so we have all of our positions posted on Handshake, so you all can go on there and, and find them there. Um, we also, you also can apply through our website, so you can just go to northwesternmutual.com, and then it's the careers tab. Um, we also have a local office or local website. It's knoxville.ndm.com, and so you can apply that way. But honestly, one of the easiest ways is just to reach out to me directly. Um, so I think, Alexis, you have my contact information, but students can call me, um, you know, email me with a resume because all of those um, applications are going are gonna to come to me anyway. So um, those are, you know, the main ways that you can reach out and, and apply. And is that specifically for the internship program? What about the full-time financial advisor roles? Yeah, so, so that one's on there as well. And you can apply for either and we can get you connected to a, another advisor. Mark usually does our interviews for our full-time position. So if you reach out to me, I can get it up, passed over to Mark and we can get connected to you. Awesome. Well, thank you. Um, and are there any other future opportunities that you all anticipate needing to fill other than those? Yeah. So like I said, we're always recruiting for that internship um, role and that full-time financial representative position. Um, every now and then we'll have other positions open up, like, you know, maybe an associate to work with one of our advisors or a staff position in our office. And those just come up, you know, as we need them. Um, but those are things that we also will get out there on Handshake or or different um, avenues to let you all know that those are there. But um, we're always recruiting for that internship and, and financial representative role. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing about those opportunities. Um, so our next question, um, both of you can answer. Um, what kind of experiences make candidates a good fit? Um, and is there anything that makes a resume stand out to you all? Well, I think um, the, the thing that we always look for um, you know, the, are they engaging? Do they, can they, do they have the ability and the desire to build relationships? I mean, this is a relationship industry uh, to where you're really learning about people's financial picture and um, you got to be able to be a good listener, a good communicator. Um, and so that's a big part that we look for. Uh, it's not an easy career. You know, there are challenges. Uh, and so the, the ability and the desire uh, to want to grow and want to uh, really build a financial planning practice um, that reflects their effort and their desire to be successful. And so uh, that's something that we look for. Um, you know, we're not, you know, if somebody, you look up and down our aisles of advisors um, and the most successful, not all of them were the financial gurus coming out of college. You know, we've got people that are communication majors. We've got people that were marketing majors, people that thought about going into the medical world or teaching um, that decided uh, engineering, you know, that decided that that wasn't the right fit for them. And they explored this opportunity and their skill set um, ended up um, ref being better utilized in this career. And so, um, you know, we're not like looking for the highest GPA in, in a specific finance major, uh, we're looking for more of the tangibles um, that, that lead to a great uh, successful career in the financial planning space. And do you have anything to add to that, Emily? Yeah, I, that, that's all great stuff. And I think um, a lot of times when we're looking at resumes, like we're looking for the people that are involved in a lot of extracurriculars. You know, they're in a fraternity, a sorority, they're in a club, um, you know, they play sports. Um, also maybe someone who in high school thought, you know, I want to start a lawn care business. And so I cut grass in the summers and they might th not think that's a great experience, but to us, that's showing that they've got that entrepreneurial spirit, um, about them. So those are all the things that we're looking for. Um, and just people that, you know, want to 
kind of have that impact on others. Um, you know, they have leadership skills or they've been in a leadership position in a club that they've been in. So just all those things are kind of what stands out for us. Um, not like he was saying, we don't really need a high GPA or that, that you are a finance major. It's kind of those intangibles, but then also the, those experiences that show that they've got that kind of grit and drive. Yeah. Alex, if I can just speak, speak of that, that part that Emily mentioned is really important about that entrepreneurial spirit, that desire to be a business because it bleeds into whether it's the internship opportunity that we've been referring to or the financial advising. And we're going to get to the culture here, but you know, people that are coming in to be a part of our team, they're building their own practice. And so they're building their financial clientele, their practice, their own business. And so that desire, if, if you've got the desire to potentially not work for somebody else and somebody else telling you, Hey, this is where you got to be, when you got to be here, how you got to dress, how you got to do things. This is something that you may want to explore because um, you get to be your own boss, so to speak, and uh, create something that uh, your your work, your effort will, uh, will reflect and that you'll be proud of. Cool. Um, and so you kind of alluded to the next question, um, telling us a little bit about the company culture um, and what it is that you like about working at Northwestern Mutual. Um, yeah, yeah so, first. um, Sorry. <laughs> yeah, good. No, you're good. Good. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I think the cool thing about our culture, um, is we are, a, I mean, we're, we're a very large company. We've been around for over 160 years. So we kind of have that corporate feel in a way. Um, but you know, with our corporate office being in Milwaukee and all the other offices get to run kind of independently, you kind of get that small business feel as well. And so that's something that I really loved about you know, being here is that you get to know everyone really well in the office, you know, it, it doesn't feel like everyone, you know, there's this hierarchy of who you get to report to, it's just everyone kind of feels like a team. And I think that's been the neatest thing about seeing um, our interns and our financial representatives succeed is that they have that support around them. So there's, I feel like there's a lot of companies out there that kind of do what we do, where it's very kind of everybody for themselves, you know, they may work under the same roof, but they don't really collaborate or communicate very often. And I think with Northwestern Mutual, like we want everyone to succeed. And so, you know, we're always constantly checking in on each other, you know, seeing how we can help each other. You know, we do a lot of joint work, which is, you know, bringing other advisors with those interns on meetings. So there's just a lot of that. Um, you, we just want people to be successful. And I think that's the cool thing about the culture is um, we've got the the cool thing about being part of a corporate company where we've got products, services, advertising, marketing, technology already kind of created for us, but then we also have the perks of being a part of a, a smaller business. So you're not just another person walking down the hallway, you know, you really get to know everyone and, and really get to build those relationships really well. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think um, we take a lot of pride in that, uh, in creating that culture, um, you know, Rankings are rankings, but, you know, we've got arguably the number one, uh, and I think Financial Times, Emily would know better than I, but I think Financial Times ranked us as the number one training program uh, in the financial industry. Um, and so it is the, the training and development of new people um, is something that we put a lot of resources, a lot of time into. Um, but we also, the time piece, the relational side of doing things together, doing joint work where senior advisors are willing to go and sit on meetings. And we just feel like the best way for new people, whether it's interns or people that join us on a full-time basis, the best way for them to learn is to be in meetings. And um, senior advisors that have been doing this for a long time can help guide those conversations. And it's incredible what an intern or what a new person gets to learn and how much quicker they learn. And so um, that culture around development, um, that culture around, uh, hey, we're gonna, when I, when I left the coaching world, um, I explored the medical sales, I explored real estate, I explored a couple of marketing firms. I thought about opening up my own basketball training facility. And then I interviewed with uh, five different uh, financial firms and I chose Northwestern because of the training, but I also chose them because that culture that was around the infrastructure. What I mean by that is we're really good at giving people, hey, here's the, here's the path to success. Here's what you've got to do to be really successful. And what Emily said, you know, 
a, a one of the largest financial planning firms in the country, one of the most uh, accredited, most successful. If you want to be successful in this firm, here's what you got to do. And we lay it out for them. But then we support and we help and we mentor and we develop those people um, to help them get there. And so um, I love it. It's, it's fun. Obviously, I'm biased, but um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I think our track record speaks for itself. Awesome. It sounds like a great place to work. Um, so our next question is, again, for both of you all, um, but what advice do you have for students who are job and internship searching during um, the COVID pandemic, even though we're months into it and we might be near the end, but what advice do you have for them? Go ahead, Emily. Um, yeah, so a couple things. I think we, and I know that on our side, we've just been trying just to keep pushing through it. Like we just are doing what we can. We're trying to figure it out. We're thinking of creative ways to stay engaged with, you know, students on the recruiting side or with our advisors in our office. Um, so I think a lot of times it's, it's networking, it's, you know, getting on LinkedIn, it's getting connected to other people out in the, in the community, you know, maybe find um, a successful person in a field of study that you're really interested in or a career that you're interested in, just reach out to them, say, hey, can we talk? Can we, can I just want to pick your brain and see how you got to be where you are. And sometimes those people know about a hidden job market that might not be posted online. And so a lot of times people rely on just getting on Indeed or getting on Handshake or whatever to try to find jobs. Well, a lot of times those, those people can get you connected to positions that may not have been there, you know, otherwise. And so I think just getting as, getting as connected as many people as you can, networking, um, or even staying in touch with people that maybe you interviewed with in the past and, you know, didn't get the job or, you know, maybe it's something that you want to revisit or they could just get you connected to somebody else. So I think in this time, you know, it's all about our relationships and our connections and our networks. Um, and so I think the biggest thing that I think a student can do is just make sure they're continuing to network um, and putting themselves out there. So. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm reminded by that, you know, Starbucks didn't have its fifth store until 13 years into business. Um, you know, Walmart didn't open its second store until seven years after being in business. Um, you look at how many of the successful businesses were started during a, a downturn, during uncertain times, during struggles. And so, you know, if, if I'm looking at getting into a career, um, you know, or starting a career, I'm talking to anybody and everybody. And yeah, there's probably a lot of people that have gotten advice about, you know, think about the industries that are really booming right now, talk to them. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there's probably some opportunities there. But I also think, you know, the flip side of that is talk to people that are struggling. And mm -hmm. if that's an industry that you really want to work in, you know, be willing to work in it, even when it's not good, uh, or go spend time with them and just check in on them. Even if you know, say they're in the restaurant business right now or the hospitality business that's really struggling. Because um, people will remember that when it comes back out and, and their business is successful again, uh, people are more often remembered by what they did uh, during times of adversity than when they're really uh, being successful, when everybody wants a piece of the pie, so to speak. Um, and so I would, you know, with what Emily said is keep, networking, keep um, reaching out to people, but don't pass up on an opportunity just because you think, ah, eh, you know, they're, they're, it's not a paid internship or eh, the industry's really struggling. Um, those may actually be your best opportunity because you can get in on the ground floor and uh, really um, get your hands dirty and help them grow and make it even greater impact. Awesome. That's great advice. Um, so our last question um, is, why do you like hiring UT balls? I think for me, it's because I'm a UT ball um, and I've grown up in this area. My parents, grandparents, and I mean, everybody I know uh, went to UT. And so I just have a, a heart for UT. Um, but it's also cool for me now to be on the other side of it, you know, talking to the students, trying to recruit them to a, a really awesome career, because I know what it's like to be on their side. Um, plus, I just really love seeing um, balls succeed in this internship. We've got a lot that are doing really, really great this summer, and that's just really rewarding for me. Um, but even if they decide not to make this a career, we want to see them go off to be successful um, using what they've learned by doing our program. And so I think 
Um, it's mainly just because I love UT, but I also think um, UT has just some really awesome students. So I recruit from a lot of different campuses kind of across East Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't see as many, or UT students are just so much more prepared. They're, they're intelligent, they're well-rounded individuals. Um, and so I don't see that on a lot of other campuses. So I just really enjoy um, working with UT students just because they're really what we're looking for, um, for our career. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, being part of this community, I mean, it, it is a major UT community, um, but, and I know Emily would agree with this. I mean, more than anything, uh, you know, we're, we're looking for uh, really good people that work really hard, that wanna make a great impact uh, in this community, in this world. And I will say, there may be people watching this that don't know if they're gonna end up in Knoxville. You know, that's okay. You know, if they're not from here, um, you know, one, they can still have a really successful career um, here in Knoxville. But our internship being um, a company that is all over the country, you know, they may be from Nashville and, and Emily or I would be happy to connect them with our team out in Nashville, or they may be from Atlanta or whatever part of the country, um, you know, so we love the UT connections, all the things that Emily said, but at the end of the day, the most important part that we look for um, are, you know, are they good people that work their tail off that are really trying to make an impact and they get to define what impact means to them and what, what success means to them. But those are the type of people that we're looking to we're looking for. It just happens to be that there's a lot of them that come from from uh, the Tennessee campus. Awesome. Well, thank you, Emily and Mark, for participating in our employer spotlight series. Um, you shared a lot of great information about Northwestern Mutual and about the opportunities that you all have and the culture that you've created. Um, and thank you again for participating. And we look forward to working with you more in the future and hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you. Day.